This video shows how to use this convenient key fob size Bluetooth NFC reader with the BlueSnap Bridge to read these RFID tags into any app on the iPad. In this example, we'll use the Safari browser. The BlueSnap serial port profile to keyboard bridge consists of two BlueSnap dongles and is powered by a mobile power pack, all available from SerialIO.com. One side of the bridge connects in Bluetooth serial port profile mode to the NFC reader. The other side connects to the iPad in Bluetooth keyboard mode. Now you may be asking, why not connect the NFC reader directly to the iPad? It can't work due to Apple design restrictions that prevent standard serial port profile devices from connecting directly to the iPad. Note, the BlueSnap bridge is not limited for use with only the ScanFob NFC reader. It can enable many Bluetooth SPP devices to connect to iPads, iPhones, and iPod Touches. As long as the Bluetooth device sends printable ASCII data, it can work. Power on the NFC reader by briefly pressing the button. Then power on the bridge. Both sides of the bridge should automatically connect, one to the Bluetooth NFC reader, and the other to the iPad. Put the cursor where you want the data to be posted and press the button. It's that simple to read RFID tags into any iPad application. Note, when the bridge is attached to the iPad, the on-screen keyboard does not display. To display the on-screen keyboard, quickly tap the ScanFob button and tap again to hide the keyboard. For more information on mobile NFC, RFID, and barcode solutions, please contact SerialIO.com. Thank you for watching.